baby dragon. Hello. Mama. I'm fine. You know, I thought the kids might like to see a little bit of information about your life. I want the kids. We're studying. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you. We're studying timelines. And I thought Baby Dragon's life might be more interesting than mine. Oh, last class. Because he's a dragon. <laughs> oh, dragon. Oh, I'd say do a trick, but your only trick is sneezing. Shall we try it? <laughs> no, okay. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> All right, no. Because they're going to hear about sneezing in your timeline. I'm not kidding. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? All right. Okay, here we go. Dragon, that was a lot of fire. <laughs> okay, well, let's get into a little bit of information about, about your life, and we'll see if they can uh, check out what happened first in your timeline of life. That's me. That's your mom. You're such an artist, Mommy. I know. <laughs> this is your real mom. Her blush is beautiful. And your real mom laid an egg, and you were in it back in 1895. Oops, see you later. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. <laughs> You're a broken egg now, aren't you? <laughs> the second event in your timeline is <gasps> from inside of your egg, <gasps> you heard a great battle and you felt rumbling inside of your shell. Oh, shut it, shut it, shut shake it. it. Oh, but it was probably scary because you couldn't <sighs> see what was going on. That was way back in 1945. Oh. That was a long time ago. Please. I know, I know. Now, the third thing that happened in your timeline, oh, wow, after that knight fought the dragon, I think he made off with the treasure, and I think that treasure could be you. You guessed that your location changed because you were inside your egg. It was quiet and dark for a long while, and you were packed away in a treasure chest. Just waiting. Just waiting for something awesome to happen, like in 1985, when you hatched. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I know. You do know that dragons imprint on the first person they see, and that's why I'm Baby Dragon's new mama. I know it. I know it. She does. He loves to kiss. Um, but only, only his mother, which is me, because I was the first person you saw. I know. Hello, baby dragon. Well, back in 1985, you did hatch, and I was the first person you saw. Now, baby dragons don't eat real hot foods until they are three years old. And in 1988, that's when you started eating real food, like hot peppers and red chili and firecrackers, and you were trying to start up your fire breathing. Oh, it was so hot. I know. <laughs> Especially firecrackers. <laughs> shebang. Well, oh, and speaking of shebang, in 1992, you sneezed really big and you set Mrs. Rice's kitchen on fire. That was 1992. Oh, okay, dude. You. <laughs> Thank heavens you're not setting this blanket on fire. I'd be crabby. Oh, no, no, no. Well then, oh, later on in 1992, I got you some allergy medicine so that you would not sneeze anymore. Oh, you're such a good mom. I know, <laughs> I know that I am. And you didn't set anything else on fire at my house. I know you could breathe. <laughs> oh, I love oh, this is so good. <laughs> in 1995 was when you moved into my classroom. And at night, you got to practice your flying skills out on the playground. Oh, should we bring out your beautiful wings? Oh, yes. They are so pretty. Just let them free. Oh, oh so I so know. Good. And at night, you get to fly all over the playground. Now, in 2005, it's kind of a sad story about your flying activities oh, on the don't playground. Count, don't don't be embarrassed. You said you'd include it. Well, back in 2005, that's when your wings got tangled up in the swing set and the firemen had to come and get you untangled. No, 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 no. But you got better at flying around the swing set after that. You're right. I know. I tried really hard. And this is the last event that you wanted to put in your timeline. Are you ready? Because people put only the most, and dragons, people and dragons, 
put the most important events in their timelines. And you said this was the big one. Is this the one about the firemen? No, that was the one we just read about the firemen. I, I know you love firemen. I know they're so brave. But this is about you being brave. Oh, I was, oh, I love this event. I know, I know. I'll, I'll tell listen, them. Listen, listen. Okay, <laughs> this is in 2011 when you stopped some robbers from breaking into the school and that's when you became the school's official watch dragon for being so brave. Oh, uh, you know, you know what, baby dragon? The kids have to do a timeline project. And that's why I wanted us to get together with this timeline. And I'm gonna lay the timeline out and maybe we'll ask the kids some questions. So if they had a pencil and some paper, maybe they could do some timeline math and we could help them check it. What do you think? Do you think they can do it? I do. I do. They're pretty smart. What about that kid over there? I don't think he has a pencil. He got his pencil. He's all right. Ready. We're, okay, <laughs> we're all ready. All right. Well, we'll just zippity quick lay your timeline out just like a real timeline that the kids are going to do from the first year something happened to the last year something happened and all the events in sequence in between. Wow. Is there such I know. That's fun. We can do it. Wow, baby dragon, when you lay all those timeline pictures out from end to end, you have an awesome timeline. I have a great life. <laughs> you do. Now, kids always need to keep a line running and start with the earliest year. All right, baby dragon. Let's read the first question. How many years passed between when the, leg, the egg was laid and baby dragon hatched? Baby dragon, yes. I, I have these in the picture. How many years passed? Can you do some timeline math? Yes, I think that's fun. All right, what year goes on top of the subtraction problem? Oh, the greatest year. What year is that, baby dragon? 1985. Minus what? 1995. And how many years passed between the egg lay and the egg hatch? You can do it. I know. 90 years. You are correct. I hope the kids matched you in that problem. Now, I'm moving over here to where you were in the trunk. Oh, and the question is... It was so how, dark. <laughs> it was dark. <laughs> how many years did Baby Dragon's egg sit in a treasure chest? This isn't a hard math problem. You can probably do this math problem in your head. Baby Dragon, how many years passed in the treasure chest until you hatched? Years. I hope the kids got exactly that answer on this math problem. Oh, they're so smart. They are smart kids. All right, Baby Dragon. How many years passed between Baby Dragon's hatching and when he started to eat real fire-making food? That's another easy problem I think these kids can do in their heads. How many years passed between the hatch and the fire food, dragon? 88 minus 85 is three. Three years. You're exactly right. Correct. You are so good at timeline math. Okay, here's another one. How many time passed between baby dragon starting to eat fire making food and, oh wait, how many years passed between baby dragon's table burning sneeze and and if they could just see the fire the table burning sneeze and the no sneeze allergy medicine and i am moving in really quick because i'm noticing something baby dragon oh me too it's different no years passed no oh no what do we do now mama well well but do you know how to count months baby dragon um, i think so do they go in order they do January, February, March, April, May, June. How many months passed? <laughs> just one, just one, Mommy. <laughs> I am so proud you can count months. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so smart. All right. 
How many years passed between the time Baby Dragon moved into the school and when Baby Dragon became the official Watch Dragon at the school? Do you know the timeline math for that question? Yes, this one is harder. 2011 minus 1995 equals 16 years. <gasps> Um, if if you would ever get out of your eggshell besides nighttime. Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes. So no, maybe we'll <laughs> no. maybe maybe we'll work on that next year. Because okay. now that you're official watch dragon at school, you can maybe drive a bus. Then, mommy, can we add it to my timeline? We can add that to your timeline for this year. You are so smart, baby dragon. Oh, and I'm so glad you work so hard putting your timeline in order from the very first year all the way up using special events to the last year in your timeline, which isn't this year. So hopefully we can continue this timeline at a later date and add in maybe you drive in a bus for the school. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> hey, Baby Dragon, do you have anything you want to say to the kids? Okay, now it's your turn. You have to go make your own timeline and you have to make it really, 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 really colorful. Do your best and work really hard. Pull out all the important moments of your life, just like I did. And your life can be shown to everybody, too. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, they got